Thanks for tuning in to this video weather briefing from the National Weather Service office. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist here with the National Weather Service. This forecast here takes a look at the change in the weather pattern for February 22nd through 24th. The impact from this storm is expected to be low, but there will be some impacts in the mountains and also with wet roadways. Confidence is medium to high. This video is about four minutes long. How much precipitation are we expecting? Well, here is a map of storm total accumulation. You can see anywhere from a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of rainfall along the coast. Much more significant as you go inland across the western and southern slopes of our mountain areas where accumulations of a half inch to an inch are expected with this upcoming storm. Keep in mind precipitation so far this month has been zero. Here's a look at the expected snowfall accumulations for our high terrain. Snow levels will start off rather high but towards the end of the event Sunday and Sunday night snow levels getting down to 6,000 feet. We look for accumulations across the San Bernardino Mountains and Mount San Jacinto where it will range from 1 to 4 inches of snow. What's the weather pattern that will cause this change? As shown here, the upper level high pressure system that has been dominating the west, preventing any storms in the month of February for Southern California, is not going to move, but a storm system is going to go up and around it, carving across Southern California as shown here. To our east, the cold air remains anchored as a frigid upper level trough remains in that region and reinforces. How about a weather pattern change that will carry into early March? Well, it does look like the jet stream will take a dip further south across the west and we'll see most of the upper level ridge of high pressure leave. So this could bring some increased storminess into early March. The precipitation outlook for the rest of the month into early March is shown here. You can see the signal of above normal precipitation or wetter across part of California into the Rockies and into southeastern United States. What about for temperatures? Well, cold air it looks like it'll continue across most of the United States, even parts of the west as the jet stream drops a little further south like we showed in the prior slide. Much colder, high confidence of cold conditions across the Great Lakes. What about for spring, March through May? This is the newest outlook, and it doesn't show much indication across California. Drier than normal expected for the Pacific Northwest as that upper-level ridge of high pressure returns, and weather conditions expected for the desert southwest into western Texas from the southern part of that jet stream. Much warmer conditions are expected to continue after a record-breaking warm 2014 across the west. That upper-level high pressure does not look like it'll leave the region. And the area shaded here in orange and red, high confidence of above-normal temperatures for the period March through May. Here are some links to take a look at. Always check for the latest hazards, watches, advisories, and warnings at the link above. The climate information and longer range outlooks can be found at the link in the middle or just visit weather.gov San Diego or on your mobile phone mobileweather.gov. Facebook, Twitter, we're also available on there. So please check us out. Thanks for joining.